How's it going, dudes, and welcome. And this is. I have to change up my intro. But anyway, testimony of Trixie Glimmersmith is what we're playing. And this is actually the sequel to Parsed It. So let's just get right into it. My name is Trixie Glimmersmith. Alright, it's two weeks till my coursework deadline. Time to start this report on. Louisville County Cultural Exports 1800 to 1900. I sat and stared at the brief 410. For about 10 minutes. Okay, no more st stalking. It's time to get to work. And then I just clicked onto a two hour video essay about memes on video.com. Before I had any more time to be distracted, there was a loud knock on my, at my door. I jumped, knocking my cereal bowl, milk, and chocolate-covered sugar rice. Split across my generic student accommodation carpet. I see it. Someone outside, inside, yellow. Crooks and Claymore Smith, open up! We have something to discuss! I recognize that voice. It was Nikita. My course's top student. We didn't talk often because he's kinda horrible. I slammed the spacebar and quickly opened up a website about sheep. It wasn't really relevant to my work, but I hope it might look educational enough to make Nikita judge me slightly less. His music is really loud. Look, he just scared, scared the crap out of me. And I didn't want to keep her winning, so I ignored the pudding of chocolate milk deep into my carpet and opened the door. Look, he immediately murdered straight into my room. Without asking, and I ended up back into my desk. Right, Trixie, you have to do me a favor. Her eyes briefly gl glanced at the cereal the bottle, but quickly glanced really locked back onto me, like the lasers, lasers of a sniper rifle trained on my skull. I didn't think you would sat back down in my chair and looked up at Nikita. I probably looked pretty st stubby. stubby. It, it would almost be kind of hard if I wasn't an effing loser. I didn't even get to read that. Look, Trixie, if I hadn't healed you out last term by doing your coursework for you, you me every dead right now. You be living in a bush and eating dirt because you don't want to go home to your family and admit you effed up. Your education, your education is my sleeping through an entire term. I mean, that's a little harsh. I'd also be been playing video games, writing raunchy fanfiction, and growing breasts. It would be nice to get some recognition for that for once. I know it was. But listen, my point is, you owe me big time for literally saving your life. I wouldn't say literally. You didn't literally save my life. What do you have? Whatever. Look, I just want you to 
Find me a place for text. Easy. It's easy. Oh, is that all? I mean, sure I can do that. I guess you did help me a lot, right? Sorry, it's just you were being really aggressive, so I assumed you were going to make me kill someone or something. Tabby, maybe you hate her. Miss Knight is a tryhard, wasting everyone's time by running against me for a student president, but I don't need her dead. I need to keep her around to make me look good. Tabby keeps Tiger's crystals in her bra to prevent lunar interference, which I'm pretty sure isn't even a word. That's a pretty low standard to make you look good. I felt pretty bad saying that. Tabby was really nice even if she was a little quirky and didn't really notice me. That said, interference definitely isn't a word. Interference. Okay. I'm not very likable, so I need all the help I can get. Anyway, sure, your laptop is playing a video called Cheap Falling over Compilation 6, while your course papers titled and I quoted Start Start Soon. So, are you going to help me or am I just going to have you? gonna have to never bail you out of one of your efforts again. I glanced at my laptop, epicfails.com, wasn't an educational, as educational as I thought. Find what do you want exactly more specific than just a play script. Last night I was walking back from the library when I noticed some paper floating in the belt. I didn't usually make a point of picking stuff off of the floor, but something drew, drew me to it. I picked it up and realized it contained writing. I read it right there in the courtyard. When I finished reading, I stood in silence for some time. I read an excerpt from The King in Yellow. I don't know how we got there, but I'm certain if that page was there, then the rest must be nearby. A surviving copy of the infamous cursed play. You realize how important that is? I heard rumors of the King in Yellow and of the ghastly writings within. I very much doubted Nikita had found a page lying around in, at university copies were meant to be impossible to get a hold of. Supposedly all lost, hidden, or burnt a long ago. I, well, I always assumed that but it was kind of a myth. Are you sure it was legit? Maybe you just found a part of someone's fan fiction. Ow. Lisa slammed her fist into my chest with a bang. I know it's real. Sorry. It's okay. You're probably right. Only a real loser would write fan fiction about the king in yellow. The complete play would be of immeasurable importance to my studies. I could write my entire thesis analyzing how it has affected folklore both locally and worldwide. I need a full copy. Now, after the initial shock of finding it in, 
and started sneezing. I concluded there must be some kind of allergen on the paper. I had... Well, it was so... It was so well that you bust an eardrum. I had to be alerted to exactly one thing in the world. Just, or just one thing. Not being a... Shut the F up. I'm allergic to... Daffodils? Daffodil is a few miles from here. I happen to know that the lane has a lot of daffodils, hence the itty name. Given a relationship, relative rarity elsewhere in the county, I believe that people may have originated there. I'd rather avoid going there myself. I'm too important to get mildly uncomfortable. Besides, I'm busy brainstorming slogans for my student union present presidency campaign. We're now thinking knowledge through unity, unity through the cure. Oh jeez. Whatever. I thought I'd thank you for me saving your life. You're kindly going to definitely and finding the rest of that play for me. Good thanks. I, s it, I still wasn't convinced there would be anything you find, but I kind of wanted Nikki to leave my room before she noticed I left some of my underwear on the floor. I mean, I hadn't agreed yet, but fine, I'll go. I just, just stop being so rude to me. It's not a good working, a good work relationship. Fantastic. Thank you for being so accommodating, Crooksie. I'll let you get on with it. I have some books to read. Nikita brushed some dust off of her skirt and left without goodbye. According to my laptop, it was pretty early. I guess I should get going. I may as well get this over with so Nikita stops bothering me. I found some snacks. I knew I would need them on my quest, errand, whatever, whatever this was. Mmm, a 20 pack of cheese rolls. I effing love artificial flavorings. I found my phone under an old, t old shirt. Not that it came in much use. It was basically only take calls and receive messages after years of wear and tear. My phone light flickers unless you constantly shake it like a maraca. So I brought along a torch as well. The torch seems seemed like one of those things it, things it was going to have to have a when you're looking for things. In retrospect, I should have made sure I, it had batteries in it before I left. I've crammed everything into my bat bag. Oh, <laughs> that what's on this bed? On their bed? A lot of people accuse me of having a bat fetish because of all my bat products, but it's not true. I just like that bat cartoon saber great. Cool, yes, from space from a few years ago, but there's no virtual merchandise for it, and those bats were really cute. Anyway, I got distracted, but my laptop 
on my laptop for a while. Well, like three hours, but I got a lot of work done. Kinda. A two hour trek to the countryside and the worst heat wave in the century took its toll on me. I've never been good with summer. I usually just hide inside, so I underestimate how hard it would be having the sun. It was also about here I realized I never cleaned up the cereal on my floor. I did eventually reach after the lane. I took a little rest in some shade and got my bearings. Phew! I hope the weather gets I hope the weather gets worse soon. I can use some rain to cool me off. I took a look down the lane from my vintage vantage point. Four quaint little cottages dotted the dirt road, and at the far end was a tree line of Blue Hill. Was the tree line of Blue Hill Woods? I've been in the woods once before, as part of my course. They, they were old and filled with interesting landmarks. I considered taking a walk. And then once I sorted out the play stuff, it was probably cooler under trees. It's parsnip. Apparently there's trumpets now. Hi! Uh, a small, rather eccentric looking rabbit had appeared behind me. Oh, I was distracted. Before I could say Andy, he held out a weird yellow string. Arsenal is a guy? Why? Huh? Since we're, since we're such great friends, I mean, you a friendship string. The friendship string was about six inches of tattered yarn. Seemingly, Get a yellow acrylic paint and sparkled with what appeared to be sugar. Okay. Done? Okay. It was faintly dis disturbing on a level I can't communicate. Even after everything else that transpired in the following day. Ah, oh, it's starting over again. I had a trigger so you can taste it if you get hungry. I hope you like it, best friend. He seemed proud of himself. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. It's from, from parsnip. I refused, I took the string out of the rabbit's paw and held it up for a closer look. It looks just like a bad, bad up. It just looks just as bad close up. I took the string away in my bag. It, thanks? I am Barstoon and this is my cottage. He jabbed a paw at the nearest college, the one with a well kept half of the path in front of it. I saw a sign of my a small sign with my cottage written on it, stood on the path next to it, literally making the cottage as someone's cottage. Marking the cottage as someone's cottage. Oh, hi, Parsnip. My name is Trixie. I'm looking for a boot that might be around here. Have you heard of the King of Yellow? This charm is so appropriate for Parsnip. Oh, I love yellow. 
Oh wow, it's my favorite color. Oh, okay. Well, it's good that you like yellow. I'm gonna turn this down. Give me a second. Okay, it's better on my ears. The book, though. Do you know it? I don't read books. They are so boring and parsnip. And I'm a fun bun. Want to come play with me? Um, I don't know. Ooh, I'll probably have to come. I might. Honestly, I'm just gonna play through this once and see what ending I get. Uh. Try to distract him. This was getting too weird. I wanted out. Oh, look at that! I pointed into the distance. Person just stared at me. I'd much rather look at you, new friend. Oh, okay. Well, I can't come play with you right now, cause, like, I, cause, like, I have to find the. Look for my uh, friend, remember? Wow, that sounds really exciting. You're like a detective. Oh, I'm. Wow, cool, that's amazing. I didn't get to finish reading that. I mean, I could just go to the history. What did he say? Oh, I mean, it's more on indebted servitude thing. Like, I don't really care about. It, but my acquaintance Nikita was like, You owe me for a favor. Go get. Okay. Um, before I could begin to formulate a response, he sparsed it. The sound of a cuckoo clock blared from inside his cottage. I had no idea if was a guy. It was loud, even from a good 50 foot. 50, yeah, 50 foot away. Uh, oh, it's time for trumpet practice. I'll talk to you later, new friend. He merely skipped off to his cottage. Okay, bye. I crossed Parsnip off my list of potential owners of a forbidden play. He didn't even like so. Someone who would own anything that required reading. I started to walk down the lane, past the out of two property, blasting from Parsnip's college. I'm not convinced he even had the perfect the right way around. I figured I'd try the next card. I didn't look as well, kept as parsnip, but I could see some art easels set up in the garden, which picketed my, which piqued my interest. An artsy person might have a copy of an evil play just to make a statement. Hey, cool and earnest. I can relate to them. I could draw a picture once. Yeah, no, you can't. I'm Bad in a forest? Parsnip and Rosie in a shower? I approached the college and caught sight of a rabbit lounging in a desk chair, smoking and drinking wine cla classy. She was tall, stylish, and pretty. I was pretty hyped to meet what I assumed was must be a Famous artist. Either she didn't see me or chose to ignore me. I noticed her cigarette wasn't even lit. Hi, uh, oh, uh, hey, um, hi. I waved nervously. I wasn't used to talking to professional artists who were probably rich. 
That does not look like Rosie. She tilted her sunglasses down slightly to look at me before pushing the back up. La Rose. Hello. <laughs> um, I turned off my head, felt only from the heat. I swayed side to side, starting to regret not bringing a drink. Sorry, I don't have any water with me, so I'm a little out of it. Anyway, okay. Wait, you walked a little all the way here from the university without any water in the sea. Hmm. I remember laying out a quiet yes, collapsing, but not much else until I woke up a few minutes later. The rapid face was looking down at me from her desk chair. She looked mildly concerned, but apparently not enough to move me from being face down in the dirt. He faded. Uh, are you okay? I think so. Could I maybe have some water? I brought some out for you already. She motioned towards a glass of wine on the ground beside me. That's why. The rabbit went wide eyed under her glasses. Oh, so it is. How did that get there? She picked up the wine and shuffled shamefully into her college cottage. <laughs> Returning a few months was later with some tap water. Thanks. I downed the water and felt a little better. It was pretty stupid of me not to bring any with me. I realized I hadn't introduced myself and thought I'd better do it before it became too awkward. Hi. Hello. I didn't do a great job of it. I'm Trixie. The Rose. There was a frosty silence. So, um, sorry to bother you, it's just I'm doing someone a favor. They think there's a copy of some old play around here, The King in Yellow. I can't say I've heard of it. Are you sure your friend didn't say that for the library? You know, the one in town. I briefly wore she had. No, I'm pretty sure, certain. He said Daffodil Lane. I don't know where it could be though. I asked, um, Parsnip next door. LaRose seemed to grimace at the mention of Parsnip. He spoke to Parsnip. Are you sure? You look like you still have it wouldn't live. I did it, but that was unrelated. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? Uh, I mean, yeah, a bit. Is he that bad? I mean, he's a little excitable for sure, but... Her, her, her blood pressure looks like it was rising rapidly. Let's get back to topic. I decided it was best to change the subject. Anyway, hey, sorry, the book you haven't seen. She shook her head. I don't get out much, though. If it's around here, I probably wouldn't see it. I didn't even realize my neighbors were missing until the police came knocking. Oh jeez, the squirrels? Yeah. Didn't it turn out they just went on a cruise to the Pacific Islands because they were rich and got bored? 
It was on the news for ages. And no. I accidentally started a rumor that they just ran off to go on a cruise during the school term. Probably true, they they were rich. Rich will do that stuff, right? I didn't think she was expecting an answer. Look, I was brainstorming, okay? It's not my fault the police just took that as a fact and ended the investigation immediately. I'm sure they're all fine. The police just dumped all the evidence they collected outside and left ACAM right. ACAM. All cops are monsters. All cops are messy. Point is, you could point or poke around in the boxes if you want. They won't care. Maybe you'll find your box, but... Huh? Yeah, maybe. Let's just thank you for her help. I said I'd better get a move on. It really seemed like she had stuff to do, like lounging around in a sun in the sun all day pretending to smoke. Well, anyway, I don't to bother you. I'll go take a look at those evidence boxes. Have fun. She went straight back to staring off in the distance. I let her get on with it and headed over to the neighboring cottage. And you know what? I'm going to end this video here. We'll check out the squirrel's house in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And show this video to a friend. Get them to subscribe as well. And don't forget to hit that bell. Co uh, comment down below. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.